In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can use AD Generator to set up our uh, domain objects and get rolling with the next part of the course. So uh, here we are in VirtualBox. So all we need to do is go to Input, Keyboard, and then Insert, Control, Alt, Delete. And you'll see that uh, we now have Mayorsec backslash administrator. This means that the domain was generated. I'm going to go with other user, though, and just use my the mayor account. Uh, if you created a secondary account, I recommend you use that as well. Um, you really don't want to use the administrator account for uh, a lot of functionality, right? You, you want to try to use uh, you know, principal of least privilege and other accounts uh, rather than just relying solely on your admin accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then our next step will be to run AD Generator with PowerShell. And that's going to be in our folder, but that's going to be over on the admin folder. So we're going to have to go to our file explorer. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff going on here at once. That's okay. Uh, and then we're just going to go to this PC, users, administrator, and then that desktop. And we're just going to snag... Um, this here. So now we just need AD generator. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. And what this script is going to do is it's going to rename our domain controller to DC01. It's going to create a lot of domain objects. It's going to create a file share and upload uh, or download, excuse me, uh, the PowerShell for pen testers GitHub repo, which you can then just use when you create your workstation. Uh, you can just use the file share to grab it. You don't have to download it again. Just kind of a quality of life thing uh, that I've thrown into the script. So now let's do PowerShell. Uh, we want to run this as an administrator and hit yes. And then let's CD to our desktop. So it's users and then mayor desktop. And then we need to set our execution policy just like before uh, to unrestricted. And we'll sit hey yes and then we can invoke ad generator and we'll say run once and then we can do invoke ad generator uh, domain name mayorsec.local and we need to put our password in for our user if you get this wrong there is no restarting uh, you'll probably have to uh, rebuild so make sure you get your password correct and you'll see some stuff's going on. We've created our share. We're creating some groups and users. We've created some misconfigura uh, misconfigured ACLs, uh, et cetera. And then you'll get a message down here that says restart your domain controller in 30 seconds. Um, that's it here. I'm just going to go ahead and control C out of this for now. And I want to talk about very quickly the network settings. So let's go ahead and open up our network settings uh, and change adapter options. And let's double click and go to properties and then here. We need to set our IP address specific, and I want to make sure that it's going to be 192.168.3.75, and then set our gateway to 192.168.3.1, and then just click validate settings upon exit, click OK. We just want to make sure that these roll OK. Um, and then with any luck, this will all work. And it says we're unable to detect, that's fine. Um, and all we can do is just make sure that we have internet connectivity quick with Firefox. Uh, and then, provided that's the case, we should be all set. So, I'll uh, we'll just go ahead and go to Google quick. And we have internet access. So, uh, your domain controller is officially set up and all squared away. In the next lesson, I'll show you how we set up Workstation 01. Uh, so, until then, thanks for joining. I'll see you over there.